morning. It is Tuesday the 11th of August and we've got a short psalm this morning. It is only five verses long. It's Psalm 43. This is what it says. Declare me innocent, O God. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. For you are God, my only safe haven. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Send out your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you live. There I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my harp, O God, my God. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Saviour and my God. Amen. If you saw yesterday's psalm and you've watched this one now, I wonder if you recognise the fact that the last verse is the same in both psalms. It says, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Saviour and my God. Psalmist repeats himself. And whenever we see repetition in the Bible, it's usually because it's trying to reinforce something. Now, these are all different psalms taken at you know, a snapshot of time whenever these psalms were recorded. Why would they be repeating something from one psalm to the next psalm? What would be the point of that? Well, as you read through that psalm, it talks about being declared innocent. So people are pointing fingers again. People are picking on the psalmist again. Uh, and he's feeling it. But again, it talks about, I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my saviour and my God. Like I said in the last one, has he strayed away from God? Has he come back to God again? And he's saying, I will put my hope again in God. Very possibly. Because you see, that's the cycle of who we are as human beings. We do something, we say sorry. We say, well, I'll not do that again. But quite often we do. And we come back and we say sorry and say, I'm, I'll not do that again. And we do it again. We find it hard to break that cycle that we're in, but we have to try. We have to strive to live as perfect a life as possible. That's what God wants us to do. But he knows that we will fall. He knows that we will stumble. He knows that we will get it wrong. And that's okay. He understands that. And we come back and we ask him for forgiveness. And we come back to him again and we refocus upon him. And he helps us. He just wants us to try. He just wants us to give it a go. And, and to do our best for living for him. I mean, all the examples in God's word, no matter who you turn to, they all have faults. Every character has faults. Every person has faults. And we're just the same. So if they can be recorded for the greatness that they did, even with their faults, then we know that we can do great things as well, even with our faults. So yeah, know what your faults are. Name them to God. Keep handing them over to God. And he will help you day by day. You'll not get it right all the time. You will stumble and fall. But hey, that's what it's all about. God just wants us to try and to keep trying. You know, that, that runs through, right way through our society. You know, we have the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again, and things like that. And there's other sayings, you know, we talk about keep on going, keep on trying. You know, and, and that, that's quite often, you know, don't give up. You know, and you see somebody trying to do something, you say, don't give, give up, keep trying, keep going, you'll do it, you'll do it. And God's the same with us. He sees us failing at things, but he knows that we have the ability, the capability. He just wants us to try. Yes, some things will be beyond our control. We'll never get it. We'll never be perfect this side of glory. But that doesn't mean to say we don't keep trying to serve God as best as we can. That seems to be the theme, or one of the themes that comes through in those two Psalms, to keep on serving, to keep on focusing on God, even when things get hard, even when you've done it wrong, come back to him again. So try that today. 
What will you face today that you know you faced before and you've stumbled at it? What could you do differently today? Well, how about before you face it, you pray and you ask God for strength? If you know a temptation is coming your way, hand it over to God before you get sucked into it. Ask God for that strength and he will help you. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for this psalm. Thank you for the psalmist and the simplicity of what he says. But Lord, the importance of what he says is that we, we keep coming back to you. Even when we stumble and fall, we come back again and we hand it over to you and we ask for forgiveness and we ask you to refocus upon us. Lord, today, in whatever we face, help us to do that. Father, thank you. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks. Thanks for joining with me this morning and see you again tomorrow morning. In the meantime, take care and God bless. Bye.